Hello, my friends. This is Bobby D coming to you from Salamban, Cebu, Philippines. I'm having an awesome day in the Philippines today, and I hope you are as well, wherever you're from. Hey, today I want to talk to you about Geraldine Roman, the first transgender elected official in the Philippines. Geraldine Roman, the first transgender elected official in the Philippines. Yeah. Now, when you talk about the Philippines, you gotta understand, this is a country that's very, very conservative. Yeah, they are. They're actually, the majority of the people in the Philippines are Roman Catholic. And the Roman Catholic Church actually uh, governs the religious lives of the majority of the people in the Philippines. So it is unusual that a transgendered individual would be elected by the Philippines. Let's talk about this person first. First of all, Geraldine Roman, 49 years old. In her early 20s, she began to have feelings and, and she told her parents uh, that she was having feelings, feminine feelings, but yet she was in a male's body. And she felt uncomfortable. And she wanted to do something about it. So she had a, trans, she had a transgender sex change in her early 20s. And she had to go to the United States for that, and then she came back. So, the question is, how are transgenders, and let's, let's broaden that for a little bit, how are the LGBT community, which is lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender people, um, how are they accepted or how are, how are they dealt with in this society? Now, I did a, I did a video uh, several months back on ladyboys in the Philippines. Now, in that video, I touched on a few of these issues, but I never dealt with the fact of how well LGBT or transgendered individuals were accepted. Now, for the most part, the Philippines are very open to gay, lesbian, trans transgendered, bisexual individuals. You'll see them all over the country. They're in various capacities. And uh, this is one of the most unusual things about this country because they're, most of the people here are very, very conservative when it comes to their religion and spirituality. But yet when it comes to someone that is not uh, of the general norm, uh, not male or female, but transgendered, they're very accepting. And that's a good thing. The Philippines people have a very warm, loving, forgiving, and accepting attitude toward everybody. And that extends toward the LGBT community as well. Let's talk about Geraldine for a few seconds. She was born in 1949. She, I'm sorry, she was born in 1967. She's 49 years old. Her parents are legislators, so she's been exposed to politicians all of her life. Her mom was, she, so she grew up in Bataan, Bataan, B-A-T-A-N, which is in the Luzon area. And her mom's term was about to expire. Her mom, she, she actually ran for her mother's congressional seat because her mom couldn't run anymore. And she won. She won, not only did she win, but she won by a large majority vote. 62% of the vote won what was given to her. So what does that say? What does that say? What am I saying? I'm saying this. In the Philippines, it does not matter if you're gay. It does not matter if you're bisexual. It does not matter if you're transgender. 
they're going to accept you for who you are and what you are. Now, there are some haters out here. And that's wherever you go in this world. There's always going to be some haters. There's a small faction, a small fraction and faction that will not accept gays and will not accept people in the LGBT community. But for the most part, the majority of the people here will accept LGBT personnel. Now, Geraldine is, has a partner. She's been living with her partner for 18 years. So she's a very intelligent person. She's got two master's degrees and she is fluent in 10 languages. Very intelligent individual. So her sexual orientation has nothing to do with her intelligence and her personality. She's got a beautiful personality. So I guess the bottom line for me, my friends, is that we need to be accepting of people based on their ability, not based on their sexual orientation. Very important. Very important. Geraldine has become an icon for the LGBT community, not only in the Philippines, but internationally, worldwide. She's on NBC, CBS, ABS, CBN, uh, GMA, every network all around the world, all around this globe has been interviewing her. 